My name is Paul Patrick Proctor. I am the product of two biracial parents and the brother of two sisters that have the same four races coursing through their veins. I am adventurous, outgoing, strong, and lighthearted. How did I get here, you ask? Well, let me begin by saying that this journey is 19 years in the making and far from over. I want to share with you the key moments in my life that have made me, well, me. These are the things that have shaped me into the person I am today. These are the events that have sparked my development thus far. It all began at the age of six with the introduction of sports into my life. Although I only played football, basketball, and briefly track in high school, I've played numerous individual and team sports in my lifetime. Sports were my escape from the stress of school, and it taught me discipline. This directly relates to Lawrence Kohlberg's stages of moral development. There are three levels to the theory, pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional. The discipline required for sports falls under stage four of the conventional level. At this level, rules are more important than right or wrong. This stage is like a blind obedience, and in order to be successful in sports, this obedience is necessary. This has made it difficult for me to determine whether rules are immoral. Sports also taught me how to be unselfish in order to benefit a group in the achievement of a common goal. Sports have also made me extremely competitive, which has transferred into my everyday life. Another significant event in my life began at the age of seven when I moved to Greenwood, Indiana and met my best friend, Miles Reed. Until about age 13, he was my only real friend in a foreign place and the first person to treat me like family. Being around Miles Reed made me a nonconformist. For years we did things our way and didn't care what anyone else had to say. Eric Erickson's foundational theory applies in this phase of my life. It details the many phases that every person must go through in his or her life. In the adolescent stage, at 12 to 18 years old, people have a conflict between identity and role confusion. Adolescents must try and find their personal identity, and when this is done effectively by staying true to oneself, then identity is established. If someone fails in this area, then it leads to role confusion. Above all, Mousery taught me to imagine and chase your dreams no matter how impossible they may seem. This gave me my sense of identity as an adolescent, which made me feel more confident as I progressed through school. My senior year of high school, I was nominated on the homecoming court and won homecoming king. This was a great moment for me because this was the first time that I had felt the approval of such a large group of people. This made me feel like I was making the right decisions and progressing through life the way I should be. This added to my confidence level, and the only thing I needed was a purpose. At age 13, I took my first memorable trip to Florida. Orange Beach, Florida was the first time that I was able to see the ocean and its aquatic life. Every year after, I returned to Florida once or twice a year. I made it a habit to find a way to see the ocean and its marvelous creatures. This produced my fascination for marine life that eventually led me to wanting to be a marine biologist. That passion is what has driven me to further my education, which leads me to the next impactful stage in my life. Attending Indiana University was a scary decision that has changed my life. It was the first time that I was able to make my own decisions. Being away from my parents has allowed me to figure out who I am on a much deeper level than before. Indiana University gave me a sense of purpose by allowing me to get involved through two organizations, First Year Ambassadors and Animal Club. I met my best friends through Indiana University and they have given me all the confidence to be myself. Because of these friends, I was able to come out as openly gay. After battling depression for a while, my parents and my friends gave me the platform I needed and the confidence to reveal my sexual orientation. This was the final step for me in being comfortable in my own body. This deals with Cass's model of gay and lesbian identity and it involves the stage of identity acceptance. In this stage, the person no longer just tolerates their sexual orientation, but they also accept their sexual orientation and difference. This is the stage that is commonly associated with coming out about one's sexual orientation in a more social and open way. Now, I attack every day with confidence and don't let anyone hold me back from being myself. This is the final step so far that has created me. Everyone has their story to tell, and mine is just beginning. So many events have shaped my life my personality, and my outlook. I can't wait to see where the next chapter takes me because my growth isn't over yet. I have so much more to bring to the world and I can't wait to share that with my peers who are developing right alongside me.